Hey guys, thanks for watching How to Do Everything. In today's video, we're going to be doing another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the lasso tool. And you can see the lasso tool over here in your left hand toolbar. Uh, there's three different types of lasso tools that we're going to be talking about today. And if you right click on the lasso um, toolbar selection, you'll see there's lasso, lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, and magnetic lasso tool. And all three of these are going to do a similar function. Uh, we'll start with the lasso tool, the basic one. We'll click on it. As you can see, it looks like a lasso. Uh, and actually, first, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and zoom in on an area that we want to work on here. So this looks good here. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete the wheels from this car. And to do that, if you click the lasso tool, you can see there's a little tip of the lasso down in the bottom left hand corner of it and that's where we're gonna that's our cursor actually so the lasso tool you're gonna click where you want to start and you're gonna drag and see how this is a really rough line it's not a great way to finely or precisely select something but it's a good way to get a rough cut see we can just hold it down and, and we're still on the mouse we haven't let go of the mouse button yet and we're just gonna select the wheel and we want to end at the beginning. There we go. And as long as we intersect, it should form a selection. Now, what we've done is we've created this selection that we can click and drag around. And if we wanted to delete the wheels, we just click the... Uh, we can hit the delete button on your keyboard, just like that. And we're going to undo that. Or we can also copy this. And now you see we've copied. Now if we paste... You see we created a new layer with just the wheel and we'll go to our selection tool here and now we can drag around the wheel but again you see how rough this edge is it's not a good one to work with so we're going to back up here and i will show you uh, the other tools so if you've got a selection like this that you want to get rid of you can click on the lasso tool you can right click and hit deselect and you'll start over so now we're going to go to the polygonal lasso tool we'll select that and you can see this one has a little different shape to it and the way this one works is you're going to uh, perform a series of clicks and every click that you do the lasso tool is going to draw a line in between each one so we'll start off with the first click and we're going to see I'm not on the mouse right now right now I have just a line that's going to take me anywhere oh Oops, sorry screen jumped so we'll start on the first click and we'll go to our second point third point fourth point fifth point and so on and so forth and you can see you can get a much cleaner edge with this tool I'm just gonna hurry through this here And you can make the distance between your points a lot smaller if you want to fine tune the edge. And then we'll just click back to the beginning. And you'll see when you get to the beginning, there'll be a circle that pops up. Boom, right there. And that tells you it's going to snap to the end. There we go. Now we can delete this. And you see it's a much cleaner shape. So we'll undo that. Right click, deselect. And now we'll do the magnetic lasso tool which is probably the best one, but the thing about the magnetic lasso tools, you have to have a lot of contrast between your two uh, colors on your edge or else it won't know where to jump because what it's doing is it's finding a contrast line and then it automatically um, snaps to that line. So when we get down in, in this area where there's not a lot of difference in the shades or not as much difference, you'll see it sometimes it'll jump the wrong direction. So we'll click our first line and all you have to do is just drag. See how it's automatically pulling to that line? I'm not clicking the mouse at all. And it's automatically dragging and creating points. And I can just drag it all the way around. See it's pulling to that edge. And this is the best way to get a really clean edge. But you see right here where the tire is, it might jump a little bit. Because these edges, oh nope, it stayed nice and clean. All the way around. 
and now right here it's going to try to jump see how it's jumping left and right it's trying to find that contrast edge right here see it follows that edge for a little bit and then if I keep moving up eventually that circle will pop up and I can select and now we have a really clean line that follows our wheel well nicely so if we wanted to delete that wheel we have a perfect cutout of our wheel well we'll go ahead and undo this and deselect and there we go so that is how you use the lasso tools inside of photoshop uh, this is photoshop cs3 uh, it'll work on pretty much all of the photoshops I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned a little bit, and check out my other videos where I do plenty of other Photoshop tutorials, as well as other how-to videos and life hacks. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.